Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 for more Hellenic glory. So, when we last left off... Really? Is that so? But you end it. That's what I thought. Raise lovies, minus 46. I think I need to lay off a bit, you know? Wow, minus 64. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to lay off the war for a bit. My raised levy penalties are just a little, uh, just a little bit too high right now. The realm is rather, shall we say, war exhausted? Yes, the war exhaustion is too high. Dark Cell, well, how about the Oubliette? Maybe a Dark Cell to complain about. I'm considering elective monarchy. I guess it all depends how my children turn out. Oh, my spy master. Alright. Batter up. Oh, no, he's just right back. Except now he's blind. <laughs> oh, Byzantium. Does that affect his intrigue? Yeah. Still the best fucking spy master in the realm, but talk to him about honesty. Yeah, there you go. Two for two and good traits on both. It's really gonna come down to the wire here with these two to see who gets the throne. Eh. Who are you dueling? Allow the duel. I. Yes, he's my new diviner. Good. Hello, not really. Congratulations, you're the new diviner. <laughs> I don't really care who the new diviner is, since you're all terrible. Because he needed it more than me. He already had kind. I was hoping he can get just. Alright. We're gonna see between these two, we will. But yeah, we kind of can't declare war right now. Elective Succession's really powerful for one, which I'm okay with, but you know. Just in general, with uh, Vassal of these too long penalties still being over 50 for some. 16,000 troops marching through the Byzantine Empire, I see. Like, I wanted to smash somebody, but, uh, using my retinue, but, uh, I don't have enough. And, you know, if I so much as fucking lay a finger on anybody, everyone, their grandmother in this entire region is gonna be at war with me. Which is gonna require me to call up, I well, suppose I could just use my personal levies. Beat some respect, though. Didn't think that'd work. Alright, well, it's looking like uh, somebody else. Ooh, Peskov converted. Very good. Keep it up. This child clearly has potential. Alright, well, we can clearly see who's uh, gonna be getting a throne, it looks like. And good. As we can see, another province right before our eyes just converted. Oh lord, peasant revolts. Peasant revolts everywhere. Alright. Gather that up. We'll take care of it. Now I'm gonna put a single bit of strain on the old vassals. Let's, you know. Ah, yes. You know what? Fortune builder ain't bad. You're pr but your stats are pretty shit, dear god. Yarl, Yarl, High Chief, High Chief. Let him Pretty mother and I want an alliance that I probably don't give a shit about, or marry a quick girl. All things considered, marry a quick girl. <laughs> yes, that seems about right. Okay. Okay, 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 done. 
I don't know why they split their army like that and actually managed to lose a chunk of them. That's never something I concern myself with, really. Uh, of course you're running. Can't ride forever. Well, you're missing a flank. That's going to hurt you. Pretty hardcore. Done. Didn't even need those cataphracts. Like I said, we're, we're treating the vassals right today, you know? We're just treating the vassals good. I think they're in this way. Yeah, they are. Get them, boys. Make them away, toys. Why do they not die? There we go. Of course I encourage that. Especially in my second son, because if he's humble and president, that means he's less likely to start trying to assassinate people. You know how it is, sibling rivalry and all that. There we go. Hmm. Let's see, the High Chief of Belluzo. I'm still trying to think about trying to get, you know, one of them alliance thingies with people. Let's see, make my diplomat do something constructive. Line me up for some sort of alliance with the Hungarians. That'd be real good. Then I can smash 20,000 Hungarians against the Byzantines. That will be significantly useful to my uh, long-term goals. <clears throat> so how are the levy penalties going? Minus 45, that's pretty good. It's definitely healing. Gotta be careful, you know, we don't want to press it too hard right now, I don't think. It's better if we just sort of hang back. Try and take care of things ourselves. The fuck is Svithyad doing here, eh? I don't even know. It just doesn't matter, I suppose. They managed to get their freedom. Good. Every bit that gets free from uh, the major portion of Svithyad, I am happy for. The, they have been getting a little, shall we say, strong lately. And I'd prefer it if they were controlled. Yes. Unmarried heir. And the betrothed can marry. Good. There we are. Well, I already have more than enough boatloads of prestige, so I'm okay with that. Try and be more gregarious. Good. I'm okay with this. <laughs> oh, that's... That didn't take long at all. Nope. That did not take long at all. Oh, is she in my court for a fucking week? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think apparently that she was. Yep. All right. That's, that's glorious. All right. Well, things are healing up here. I'm going to uh, continue my work here. We're gonna start with conquest of Luca Marine, whatever you want to call that. Gonna use mostly our own, we're actually gonna leave, use solely our own levies, I should say. I'm just gonna try and keep the vassals out of it, let them recover for a while. Yay, money! Okay. See, he doesn't have much gathered together. But I'm just hoping that this two count doesn't manage to call enough fucking allies in. Don't even Zobia. Shit. To, um, you know, beat my 3,000 troops. Fortune builder. So he turned out the existing. I think his stats are actually better. It's hard to say. Well, we'll get him a good wedding either way. A beautiful. Hmm. That's my master of Nitria. Hmm. 
Get someone young with a good diplomacy. Like this girl here. Not exactly great, but in terms of prestige. A good diplomacy will... Well, you're more than Suomanusko. How about this? I demand your religious conversion. Absolutely not. There. See? Broken spirit. Sucker. <laughs> so, yeah. Looks okay. It doesn't seem to have called in too many people. But we'll see, I suppose. We will see. Yeah, the last of them here. And if we could put some non shitty generals here, thank you. Much appreciated. Well, fine. You can sit there. Okay. Feel free. Whatever. I'm I'm not even wanna fuck with this. Like, what the hell? Svithyad's just kind of come down this river to fucking attack these people? Snorri's host, Snorri's conquest of Crimea. I see. Okay, well, I don't question that. Turkestan, and a till of split, I see. Which is it? Come on, military. Yes. That puts me all the closer to getting military four. Very important, of course. Man, I'm getting fucking demolished here, sitting here. Let's just leave. A little bit. Countrymen, lend me your ears. Oh, we're getting better with diplomacy, at least. Hmm. We're gonna see how they develop. I mean, I'm kinda stuck here. They're not exactly the way. They're both pretty good at stewardship. I think I'm gonna go with uh, Tiberos, though. If nothing else, because of his name. Alright. You know, I would have liked. God damn it. Retards. Good. I'm glad uh, the King of Hungary seems to like me a bit more. Perhaps I can negotiate some sort of alliance, mayhaps? No? Hmm. Excellent. With his eldest son, that will mean in ten years. Ten years. So to request. Ten years is now all I have to wait. I think I can do that, yeah. I can wait ten years, sure. Fucking peasant revolt. <clears throat> We've exhausted my own options. And I really don't want to have to use the fucking vassals. But I suppose it can't be helped. Alright, gather up there. I exhausted my own troops, sadly. <laughs> Resist my foul impulses. I'm actually glad I managed to get my piety up, though. That's great, considering I was down to, what, negative 200, negative 300 after my, shall we say, initial <clears throat> conflicts. Right. Yeah, these guys up here have eno amassed enough uh, firepower to take on this revolt here. Give them some fucking decent leaders, and we might have a chance. I want to try and make this quick as possible. No, oh, oh, good. We captured the peasant revolt leader. That makes things easier. Okay, there you go. See, no problem. And get the last of those damn defenders there. Perfect. Now we can attack them directly. 
go for the army, get the last 5% with any luck. Good. Probably should have got one of them things there. Bacillaros. Alright, and as always, cataphracts win. <laughs> but you know what? We did it. We goddamn did it. You know what that is? That's a coast. That's a goddamn coast on the Black Sea. That's a port. <clears throat> That's a bloody port. Yeah. We freaking did it. We tendrilled our way all the way down. Oh, Parasovel and Corson split. How convenient. Better for the attacking that way. Mm, yes. 1600, that's 3200, so we're just short. Damn. I think one or two more provinces will do it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, what the hell? Who are you? Oh, Kazarian Revolt. This word's like, wait, what a kingdom? New kingdom, what? Oh good, Lotharingia managed to split out from England. For now. And how's the culture here? Okay. I was wondering if any uh, British appeared, you know. <laughs> Alright, and how's Arabia? A little more stable now. The uh, Astorias seem to be holding their ground impressively. Abyssinia is falling to the Super Caliphate. I think Afghanistan has advanced a little bit. Well, you look like a Raj. Cindy. Yeah, things are kind of tense along here. Yeah, just a little bit tense. I'm sure eventually, you know, it's going to eventually be, uh, this whole area will be Indian. In a matter of no time. Uh, anything else? No. But yeah. Alliance with Hungary. This will come in an extreme amount of use against the Byzantine Empire, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it will. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, folks. So, with that... Oh yeah, right. I should probably love the freaking levies. Thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, this has been your lovely, lovely host, Calvin, signing off.